Hi, so my name is Emily Bowen and I'm going to be doing the social media branding final. First question is, please explain how social media contests can ultimately increase sales for a company. So a contest is a winner is chosen based on some form of merit and contests have, have defined criteria around entries. So a social media contest is somewhat easy. Give something valuable away to your audience in exchange. They will connect and engage with you on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter, like whatever platform you're using, and encourage their friends to do the same. The ultimate goal is to attract attention. There is a six social media practices that can boost your contest, like growing the number of followers organically, encouraging external inbound links, optimizing your posts for searches, influencing social sharing, optimizing local posts, and increasing brand awareness. So the more people that are following your company, um, social media platforms, the more they'll see your brand and the more likely they it will stick in their head and they'll start to buy your products and try it out more. So with a social media contest, more people are like posting about it, sharing about it. So their friends and family also see it and a lot of people like the um, they like the opinion of their um, friends and family and so if they are posting it then more people are going to go to your Instagram or whatever social media platform you're using and look at your brand and your company to see if it's something that they'll be interested in and they're more likely to go ahead and try your products because of their friends and family that are posting more and more about it and so they're more likely to try out your products. So question number two is please offer three tips on getting your social media audience engaged in your social media posts. My first tip is to be active and consistent in responding to comments and messages. The biggest key to social media engagement and success is building long-term meaningful relationship with your audience. Social media care is one of the most effective forms in new marketing, which means if your brands don't respond to comments or messages, the real response is to your customers that you don't really care about your customers. And if people think that, then they're not gonna want to use your company and then your customers or your whole company, you don't have a company without customers. The second tip is run contests and giveaways. The easiest way to increase social media engagement is to run contests and giveaways. You can ask people to take certain actions such as visiting a landing page on your website or you can get them to repost something so that more people are seeing that post and you get more people to your page, which ultimately can get them to buy your products. And number two is ask a question. When you post on social media, an easy way to engage your fans is to ask a question. Asking a relevant but fun question is a great way to get customers to leave a comment on your post. For example, like if you want to know what color of shirt someone likes best um you can ask that on your instagram and more people will see oh they're asking me so i want to give my opinion so then your engagement goes up because more and more people are actually um, commenting and this also helps you see what kind of products and things that your customers want new so like you can start to develop new products that your customers will actually want in the future so the third question is, please discuss the characteristics of Pinterest and Instagram. Who are the users? When do they use this platform? And what do they use this platform for? So first is Instagram. Instagram is a social media app that allows users to share photos and videos from their lives, add captions, edit filters, tweak settings, engage with others, and explore. Instagram content drives more engaged traffic than any other visual social content from YouTube or Pinterest. Instagram helps you engage with your audience on the social platform, increasing the chance that you can bring customers back for repeat purchases. Pinterest is a social network where people can find inspiration and ideas for their interests and hobbies. Every idea is represented by a pin, which is an image that is searched and saved by Pinterest users. Pins can also link back to website, which is why Pinterest is great for driving traffic and sales. So everyone from small retail businesses to major websites use Pinterest to promote its content. The idea is to get products in front of new eyes and increase exposure. So for Instagram, I like to use um, 
Like I like to post about my life so people can stay up to date with what's new and what's happening. And then for Pinterest, like if I'm looking for a new meal that I want to try or like a new DIY project to do in my free time, that's what I go for Pinterest because I have a lot of ideas and fun things that you can do for like basically anything, food, like painting, yard work, like they have all different inspiration um, ideas for you. And then Instagram is where you can post like the ending result or like to show people, like show off what you did or like what things you want everyone to see about your life. So question number four is please discuss three content strategies specifically for mobile phones to increase traffic flow to your restaurant, bar or retail store. So the first strategy I would use to increase the traffic flow to restaurants, bars, or retail stores is making sure that my website is mobile friendly. Many people use their phones to look up like menus or to look at things to buy. So if your website isn't phone friendly, people are going to get frustrated really fast and not want to continue looking at your company because it's so frustrating and they can't get to where they need to. And so eventually they'll just stop looking at your company's website and go find someone else. The second thing to do is sending out emails to customers with like to help them think about your brand and give them an incentive to go buy something so you can send out like a promotion or a coupon because checking emails remains one of the most common uses of smartphones and tablets so when people are looking at emails and they see your brand pop up with an email and coupon they are more likely to go buy something because they might start thinking about what they're going to have for dinner and they see your coupon and so they're like oh let me go to this restaurant because i have a coupon so it makes them think about your restaurant because they see it when they're looking at their emails Another thing I would do, another strategy I would use is social media is very important for getting traffic flow to your restaurant, bar, or retail store. If your customers are constantly seeing posts about your company, they always have it in the back of their minds. The more they see it, so if the picture of food from your restaurant were scrolling through Instagram, they might start thinking about what they want for dinner, and they might remember your picture later in the day when they're thinking about what should I eat, and if they remember it, then maybe they'll go and buy your restaurant food because they remember how good it was looking. And so the more they see it on Instagram or Pinterest or Twitter or anything like that, the more likely they might go and you go buy your um, products. So the fifth question is, uh, what is your response to the people who say social media is degrading the value of our news? Define your response. So this question is a little tricky. I think there's a very fine line when it comes to using social media as a benefit to be able to stay connected with friends and family and using it constantly and being addicted to social media. I think if a child is using it too often and is always on social media, it can consume their life because they want to be the popular person on social media and if they aren't getting enough likes, it can make them feel depressed or worthless because of constant high standard on social media. Adults in children life need to make sure that they are talking to their children that social media isn't real life. People are just posting their best, like anything that can show them their best life on it to try to show off how great their life is. But in reality, no one's life is perfect. I think there can be a good balance be with being a normal kid and getting outside and playing with friends, but also having a little time for social media to be able to connect with friends and family that you can't see in person. But I think it should be monitored and the youth shouldn't be sitting on social media all day because they will become addicted and not want to do anything else throughout the day, which isn't good because if, it, if they keep seeing everyone's best life, they're going to think they don't have a great life, which is not true. It's all about the balance and having a set time that they can have it and when they can't. That's all for the social media branding final. Thank you.